it's Miss C and we're back again with a new lesson. Welcome! You all created some amazing designs. This lesson, we will be exploring another core element of design. It's called lines. Repeat after me, lines. One more time, lines. Now let's spell it together. L-I-N-E-S, lines. Good job. A line is a mark or a path created by two points. A line has a beginning and it has an end. A line can be as long as you want it to and as thick as you want it to. Lines are used to add style, enhance, or create dividers. This lesson, we'll be using one of my favorite tools. I mean my favorite tool. It's called Figma. Say after me. Figma, good job. You'll get a chance to use it too, but first, let's learn a bit more about lines before I show you some cool things in Figma. There are five primary types of lines in design with a few extras that we'll call bonus lines. The first type is vertical, and that goes from top to bottom. The second type is horizontal, that goes from left to right. The third type is diagonal, that goes from one corner to the next. The fourth type is zigzag. That's my favorite. It goes like this. The fifth type is called curved. Very simple. Good job, guys. You just learned the five types of lines. Now onto our bonus lines. There are dotted lines, dashed lines, spiral lines, wavy lines, Bumpy lines, castle lines, scribbly lines, loopy lines, shark lines, cloud lines, step up lines, and down. Silly lines, serious lines, messy lines. I'm just kidding about that last one. But there are so many different kinds of lines. It's amazing, guys. All right, I think it's time to move over to Figma. Let's begin. Hello friends. So today we are going to explore Figma. Now the last tool we talked about was Adobe Express and you guys have done some wonderful things in Adobe Express. And I would love for you guys to continue creating in Adobe Express, but I am going to introduce a new program that I love so much. It's called Figma and Figma, just like Adobe Express is free which means you can register and hopefully by now you've registered and signed up with your grown up to start designing in Figma. Now you're going to go to figma.com and you're going to follow all the instructions that I've listed in your lesson activity plan. But for now, you're just going to go ahead and watch me and learn and we're going to have fun together. So you're going to go to figma.com and sign in, do all the wonderful things. And we're going to go ahead and press design file. So this button up here that says design file, you're gonna go ahead and press that. Boom. So just really quick, you have the option of downloading Figma to your computer, or you can go and use Figma on the web, on the web browser. So you have two options on your desktop or on the web browser. Today we're gonna to do it, we're gonna explore Figma on the on our on my web browser. Um, but what I love about the two is that they're they're the same exact things. Just one is on your desktop and then one is on the web browser. So we're going to begin. I'm going to adjust the page. So the page color is right here. And I'm going to adjust that just because it's a bit dark for me. So we're going to make it a bit brighter. There we go. Awesome. So we're going to start today by adding our artboard. So Figma is a bit different than Adobe Express because they call an artboard a frame. So that's this thing right here. It's called a frame. So we're going to make it any size we want. Whatever size you want it to be, you can make it. So our frame slash our artboard is right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and retitle this and call it artboard just to keep it consistent between all the platforms. So we have an artboard right here, which is exciting. Now, this lesson is about lines. So we've talked about curly lines, straight lines, diagonal lines, horizontal. Remember horizontal is a cross and vertical is straight. Diagonal is slanted. 
Today we're going to go ahead and create in Figma some lines. But before I do that, I want to show you some tools that will help you to do this. Okay. So up here is my move tool. So the move tool is also called the cursor. So that is this little friend here that's moving around the screen and going really, 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 really fast. And it got really, really big just now. So that's called the move tool. Now you're going to use that very often. Now this right here is called, let's press it. This is called the frame, which is what this is. Remember we talked about it and we said it's also called an artboard. It's called the section and slides, but you will be using more of the frame when you're designing. Now this is called shape. So you can make any shape just like in Adobe Express and make anything you want using shapes. Cool. Now this is one of my favorite tools and this is the tool we're gonna to use today. It's called the pen tool. Say it with me, pen, P-E-N, pen tool. So you're gonna press that and you have the pen or the pencil. Now we're gonna use more of the pen tool than we are gonna use the pencil. But I just wanted to share what it is before we get started. This is for text. So just like Adobe Express, I can make a text and I can write anything I want. So I'll say, hello, friends. So glad to have you today. Boom. And just like Adobe Express, I can create a text and I can move it anywhere I want in my artboard. But we're not going to use that today. And then here is called plugins. So I can, if I needed to, let's say I wanted to, we're just going to have fun with it. I wanted to add a word art. These are word art. I can use it, but we're not going to do that today. It's just something cool. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to create some lines using this tool called the pen tool. All right. So let's start. How you make how you make a shape or a line is it requires one pin. We're going to call this one pin or one point. So point number one, and you're going to drag it and make another point. All right, and then we're going to press enter or return, and that makes a line. So this is a horizontal line. Now over here in this side, the right side of the screen, we're going to scroll down a bit and we're going to make this line, hor horizontal line, bigger. So we can make it bigger by pressing and making a number. So let's say I want it to be 20. See how big that got? I could also make it big or small by right here, holding this down and dragging to my left to make it small and dragging to my right to make it big. So left small, right big. And we're gonna go right in the middle. These lines right here allow me to either add an arrow, triangle, reverse triangle, a circle, diamond, or I can make this round. So you see how this side became round? But we're going to add, today we're going to make it, what do I want to do? Let's add a circle, just for fun. And I can do the same thing on this side and add a circle like this. So this is a horizontal line. So we're going to leave the line right here. Now we're going to make another line. We're going, do, we're going to do another horizontal line, but I'm going to show you something really cool. So remember, I have to go up here to my pen tool, press it. I'm going to use my pen to make a point one and bring it across and point two. Now I'm going to press return or enter on my keyboard. And then I'm going to go down here, right? Now I'm going to press these three little dots right here. One, two, three, press it. And I get to change the style from either solid. So it's currently at solid or I can make it dashed. So solid, dashed, solid, dashed. I'm going to make it dashed today for fun. And we're going to go back. So we're going to exit here. We're going to press the X right here. And we're going to press this and we're going to add an arrow to each side. Like that. So you have a horizontal line with two circles on the end. That is a, a regular and we're a solid line, horizontal line. And then we have the second line, this one, that it is a dashed horizontal line with two arrows at the end. Cool. Now we're going to do another line. Which line do you think we're going to do? 
I think we might need to make our, our board a bit bigger. So I'm going to click right here and I'm going to just drag it down like that to make it bigger. Like that. Just like that. Okay, I'm going to make it. I'm going to expand it this way too. So now we have a bigger artboard for more lines. I'm going to press this. So now I'm going to go back to my pen tool up here. And I think we're going to make a vertical line. I'm going to press return. Now I don't really want this to be dashed. So I'm going to go back to these three circles, small circles right here. And I'm going to make it solid. All right? And I'm going to add, I'm going to make this, uh, let's make it diamonds on each end. All right? I'm going to have fun with this one. You can change the color anytime you want by choosing this. So if you click right here, you can choose any color. So let's make it, let's make it this color, turquoise. Again, it's my favorite color. So I can make it any color that I want. So now we're going to have a little more fun and we're going to make a zigzag line. Are you guys excited? Because you're going to get a chance to do this too. So. You're going to go back to the pen tool. Remember, that's our favorite tool for this, this uh, activity. And we're going to press one pin right here. And we're going to make another pin up here. Maybe we're making a zigzag. We're going to make another pin right here. Another pin right here. One more. Another one. Another one. Another one. We'll do two more. One. Two. And I'm going to press return or enter. And there I have... My zigzag lines. And this one, I think I'm going to make it a tad bit bigger. So we're going to make this. We're going to make it a little thicker. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to press. I'm going to go to the right to make it bigger. Like that. And let's change the color. Mm, I think I'm going to change it to... Let's do... I like this color. I think it's a green. Green, yellow. We'll move it over. We have line, we have one line, two lines, three lines, four lines, four lines so far. So now we're gonna have a little more fun. We're gonna make a we're gonna make a cur a wavy line. Now this is gonna be so much fun. Ready? So we're gonna go back to our pen tool up here, and we're gonna make do this, right? We're gonna add a pin. And we're gonna add another pin. And we're gonna add another pin another pin and one more uh, let's add one more right here and we're going to press enter now i'm going to show you guys something you're going to press this right here right and up here right you're going to click this pin right here and you're going to press this and you're going to draw it out like that and that's how you add a curve So we're going to go back a little bit. We're going to do it again. So we're going to make this a bit bigger so that we can add our curve. So what you're going to do is you're going to press this, these four circles with a square. Well, one, two, three, four, and square, a little square. It's called edit object. I press that. And we're going to press this right here. And then we're going to go to this little curve thing. It's called a bend tool. We're going to press that. And what we're going to do is we're going to hold down the circle and draw it out like that. And it added a curve, right? So we're going to do the same thing for the other. We're going to do the same thing for this one, this one, this one, right? So let's do, let's press that one. So and we're going to draw it out like that. We do the same thing here. We're going to draw it out like that. One more time. Pull it out just like that. And we have a curve. Now, it's not a perfect curve, but that's okay. And if you want, you can adjust it and make it wherever you want. So I'm going to press this right here. And if I wanted to, I could pull it like that or pull it like that. Pull it this way to make it a little more cur curvy or better curve. But it's okay because curvy is fun and it doesn't matter. So that's how you make a curvy line. Any you can add to it and adjust it. I'm going to make it a little, change the color just a little bit. And there we go. 
good job. So you can temper change the colors to blue, you can change it to any colors. Gray, it's, a, it's just, I like this, giving me grayish vibes. So there it is, we have a curvy line here. And then we're gonna press done up here. So that completes our curvy line there, right? All right, friends, so we have another line that we're gonna make. Now this one's a bit complicated and we might need some room but I believe you can do it because I'm going to show you. We're going to make this the artboard a bit bigger. We're going to, so you can see the screen. All right, now we're going to make what I call a spiral, a spiral line. All right, so this one's going to be fun. So we are going to use this point. So we'll press it. We're going to just go around in a circle. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, awesome. So we could add more, but we'll keep it pretty simple right now. So remember, we're gonna go to this four circled square tool right here, and we're gonna press each point, and we're gonna press this, what we call the bend tool. Remember the bend tool? And we're gonna just pull it out like that, press this one, press that one, and do you see, if you just click it, it'll just bend it automatically. So we're gonna just click, and you're learning something. Boom, 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 boom. Now this is not the greatest spiral, but you just learned how to do a spiral. And now remember what I said, you can adjust it if you want. So if you go to this move tool, you can adjust each pin by clicking the circle as you like. So I can move these pins around like so. I'll bring this out. I can adjust it how I want. It doesn't have to be perfect. And my friends, I just taught you how to make a spiral. And you're gonna get a chance to do it too. Once you're done, you're going to press done up here and we're going to change the color. Let's change it to, let's change it to, ooh, let's change it to orange, <laughs> an orange. So we'll make it a bit thicker just for fun. So remember how to make it thicker is you move to the right, smaller to the left, big to the right, small to the, to the left. Cool. So big right, small left. We're gonna big, big, and we're gonna add, hmm, ooh, that's kind of weird. I think we'll leave it as it is. So, you guys have just learned how to make different kinds of lines. The activities for this, this lesson is you're going to go ahead and do the same thing that I just did, and you're gonna create any kind of line that you want, and you're gonna have so much fun doing it, but I want you guys to explore Figma, have all the fun that you want, and I'm excited to see what you guys do. Now, just like, Adobe Express, you're going to go ahead and type, let's say, lines. How to save your, this is how you save your work, lines. And then write your name. So my name is Ms. Hamer. And then you're going to press on the screen. So right here is your, right here. And then you can do, there are two ways you can share it. You can share it here by putting your email or copying your link and sending it to me or sending it to anyone. Or you can press export. And we'll press preview so preview so it shows this artboard and you can just press export press export again and boom there's your design and you can share it with anyone that you wanted to share it i would love if you shared it with me um, so i can see it and celebrate the awesomeness that you guys have created my friends have all the fun all the fun in the world okay good job <laughs> Wasn't that fun? As we end this lesson on lines, I will give you a chance to practice making different lines. And maybe you'll be able to make your own kind of line. Until next time, creative geniuses, bye.